If you know dungeon crawlers, you know that usually they come in boxes. Big boxes. Tall boxes. Several boxes. And as such, they're often a pain to store, or even worse, transport to a gaming event. And that's not even mentioning those whose miniatures need to be assembled and won't fit back into the boxes. Enter Tiny Epic Dungeons, the newest entry in Gamelin's Tiny Epic series, which promises big experiences in a tiny box. That's not to say that there isn't a lot to unpack here, as the game includes everything you'd expect from a more regular sized dungeon crawler. You've got dungeon tiles, items, monsters and spells galore, printed on square cards, and represented on the board by wooden tokens. All the other markers you need are made of colored wood as well. There's a handful of custom dice to roll, and some bigger cards for characters, bosses and your time tracker. Last but not least there are the plastic miniatures representing your heroes, which wouldn't look out of place in any bigger dungeon crawling board game. For size comparison, they are only a little bit shorter than the miniatures included in the Dungeons and Dragons board games. We'll have to put the paint on them ourselves though. Let's get that done quickly. So, as we can see, there are a lot of pretty things in here. The real proof of a game is in the playing. So, what is the game actually about? Well, as the manual puts it, the Goblin's Coast is under siege by an evil that lurks in the nearby hills. A hero's call is sent out for a party of adventurers to cleanse the region of corruption. Delve deep into the dungeon to clear the catacombs of vile minions, evade magical traps and defeat the evil's source. But time is of the essence. Your heroes must move quickly through the ever-dimming corridors and complete their quest before the darkness consumes them and envelops the world completely. This setup is played out in two acts. Act 1 is about exploring the dungeon, powering up, finding but also unlocking the boss's lair. As there are mini-bosses, referred to as minions, hidden throughout the dungeon which have to be beaten before the lair's door can be opened. Opening the door starts Act 2, the final battle, which has its own quirks, but we'll get to those later. For now, we'll just set up the game and explain the rules as we go. To start out with, a dungeon deck needs to be built. The cards aren't fully randomized though, so they first need to be separated by types. There is the entrance, regular rooms, minion encounters, and finally, the lair door. The deck is then built top to bottom. On top is a buffer of regular rooms, stack A. Stack B consists of a number of minion encounters equal to the number of participating heroes, mixed with normal rooms 3 to 1. So with hero numbers varying between 2, 3 or 4, so will the size of stack B. To make up for this, more rooms will be added into stack A if there are fewer heroes in play. Finally, there's stack C at the very bottom of the deck, with the boss's lair and three more regular rooms. So the lair will only show up once you've uncovered most of the dungeon already. Stack them all together and your dungeon deck is ready to go. To finish out with the dungeon deck, we set up the entrance and the four adjacent rooms. Now for the rest of the setup. The torch mat will be our time tracker throughout the game. It is set up to its act one side and will let us know how many turns we have left to finish that act. The torch marker starts at different spots for different hero numbers, but in our case, with four heroes, it will be placed at the very top. As for our adversaries, goblins and minions are readied, including the four goblin markers. And we draw one boss at random, placing it face down. We have no idea who we'll be facing until we ring in Act 2 by unlocking the boss's lair. Finally, it's time to pick out the heroes. For this game, we have drawn ours at random.
We quickly set up the remaining markers for enemy health, minions, boss and disarmed traps. And also mark the health and focus on our hero cards, focus being this game's general currency to pay for spells and special actions. Final note before we start into the game proper. The descriptions on cards are printed with symbols instead of text. There is a key to those symbols on the back of the manual, as well as on the hero cards. Also, if there are any lingering doubts as to interpretation of the symbols, there exists a neat appendix online which spells out in detail how every single card in the game is meant to work. Alright, here we are, deep in the dungeon. Time to go and explore. Time to go and explore. I could use this torch to uncover every single room adjacent to us, which would be a very smart idea, but I'm not going to do that because confusing. Yeah, it would also be a little risky. But and... ah, ah, what's the worst that could happen? Okay, I think we need to explain actions here. In this game, there are two types of actions. Heroic actions and free actions. You can only take one heroic action in your turn, and it also holds your movement. On the other hand, free actions you can take as often as you like, but they usually have a cost or a condition. The free action Reno was pondering here is the one that allows you to uncover every adjacent room, but in order to do that you need to move the torch marker, which means spending time. Also, you would have to deal with any monsters in the uncovered rooms, but that's for later. Yeah. Let's just show one room at a time for now. So I'm going to explore this room with the elf. You found the feast hall. I found the feast hall. Is there anything? No? Nothing? Okay. No, it's just got a the free action hall. where you have to test your intellect to see if you are smart enough to eat healthy food instead of goblin junk. You happy with the way the room is oriented? Yes. All right. Put in the empty rooms. Also, short note, from now on we could run into minions at any point. Only the first four rooms were guaranteed not to spawn mini bosses. Yeah, I'm sure we can take them now. Well, the Therna is done. I think you can only explore one room, right? You can explore as many as you want, as well, long then. as you still have movement, provided you didn't run into an enemy. Well, in that case, don't mind if I do. Let's just keep going in this direction. No particular reason. Aha! There we go! Mini boss! Alright. Um, I'm not sure I'm happy about this, but whatever, really. So, since you ran into one of the big guys, you immediately get two damage. Yep, taking two points of damage. And you got that damage from the Minotaur. <laughs> Oh. Uh. Okay. At least we still have a bit of time until he actually wants to act. Yes, I'm very glad he's so considerate. You know what? Um. There's a strange circle on the ground. I'm going to do some research. Gonna spend four of my precious focus points. In order to draw a spell, which is the Cloud of Death. It attacks, it's a, a, a intellect, check. intellect check for six, attacking every goblin within one tile of me for two points of damage for four focus points. So that's nice and all. You could use that on the Minotaur, but he will hit you in return. Yes, and I'm not sure I like being hit by a Minotaur. How hard is he retaliating upon being attacked with magic? Plus one, plus so that's... One oh, he... just plus one, yeah. yeah. Um, I have an armor class of three, so that's... Probably going to hurt, but on the other hand, going to hurt. we don't have any tools to really take him as of yet. I have an orc. He's a tool. Um, that sounded mean. <laughs> yeah, it uh, did. Uh, but he's also uh, got more defense against melee attacks. 
He does have more defense against melee attacks, you're quite right. No, he doesn't. You're quite wrong. Yes, he does. See? That's plus three in retaliation oh, yes, and plus yes. two defense. Yes, the, the min Minotaur has more defense. Yes, that's true. The Orc does not have more defense than the Dainty Elf. Sadly not. Uh, yeah, he's a barbarian. He doesn't need defense. Of course not. Why would he need defense? That's what you have healers for, right? I think I am going to go with the Cloud of Death because that guy Paladin needs... Paladin starts to silently cry here. <laughs> that guy needs to go away. Yeah. Alright, we can't really go on without explaining die rolls. They are going to come up a lot and they're a little unique in this game. You get to roll dice every time you test one of your three skills. Strength, Agility or Intellect. The Cloud of Death spell we're going for here is an intellect check with a difficulty of 6, 6 being the target number you're aiming for. The skill attributes vary between 1 and 3 and those directly translate into the number of dice you are allowed to roll. The numbers on each die go up to 6 and you get to pick the die you want. But 1 and 2 are actually cleverly plus 1 and plus 2, meaning these dice cannot only be picked as your result but you can also add them to a chosen die, thus raising the value of a roll. In addition to the standard try to roll at least this high mechanic, there are also symbols on the dice, representing focus and HP. These are of no consequence to the skill check as such, but if the roll is successful, then any die not used as part of the skill check can be cashed in for the symbols they show, regenerating focus on 1, 2, 3 or 4, or healing one point of health on an unused 6. The symbols don't do anything if the roll was unsuccessful. Furthermore, most skill checks just ask the player to hit a target value, such as the Cloud of Death spell. Regular attacks, however, want the player to roll as high as possible and then compare the total of the skill check to the defense of the monster. And if the hero rolled higher, the difference between the two numbers equals the damage done to the monster. And finally, there is the enemy die. If the monster survives being hit by a hero and has that hero in line of sight, it will try to retaliate using the enemy die. The process is rather simple. The monsters have retaliation values against spells, melee or ranged weapons, which they add to their die result. This is then compared to the hero's defense and again does the difference in damage. There are two special symbols on the enemy die. 1 and 6 are replaced by this symbol, which means that the die roll equals the defense of the targeted hero, and a torch symbol, which means that the monster won't retaliate, but rather time will pass. That was a bit of a mouthful, but don't worry, you'll see it played out repeatedly. So I am going to face tank one of his counter attacks. Counter -attacks. Right, you need he's a six. He's burning the torch, and I need a six. Yeah, I have a six. Have a six. And there's nothing I could turn or twist in order to make anything better. So yeah. he doesn't counterattack. He just makes sure that time passes. He burns the torch, and in retaliation, he takes two points of damage, which is something. Brings him down to four. Right. First turn done. Yeah. That's a good start. New speedrun strat, just run to the mini boss first level. Huh. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to just run into him with the orc. He's, he doesn't have enough of a wallop as of yet. So I'm that's just fair. going to explore another side room, one that's guaranteed to be mini boss free. And I found the armory. Nice, if only it had anything in it. Yeah, if we already had discarded items, we could take them here, but we don't. So that one, that's... one movement point spent, I have three, so I'll just run yeah. across the entrance and see what I can find. That's a dead end. And run into the Witch's Cauldron. Here you can research for magical spells. Which doesn't really interest the orc. No, not really. 
can also recharge some of your focus, which is very interesting for the elves. Yeah. Well, one of the elves. It's an intellect check. You know what? I'm going to use this sprint. It's a free action. I can do it as often as I want, but I need to spend one focus, and it gives me a movement. Go ahead. I want to explore some more. That could have been another mini boss, which would have been bad. But it's just a goblin. Which yeah. is the food. first goblin we find hiding in the library. So, another dungeon room here. Is a boomy goblin. Oh my. Who let the goblin bomber into the library? He's guarding the books, probably doing a great job of it. So, it's more important that no one else gets them than that they stay intact. So At least according to him. So I think our two intellectuals here are going to have a very founded discussion on the books here. And Grogul is going to take his axe and try to smash the goblin into the books with it. That's a strength test. I've got a strength of three, so all three dice. Not going to say a proof, but go ahead. Um, you forgot to take damage upon revealing the goblin. Yeah, the goblin slapped me for one damage. And he's got a defense of four, so I need a five at least. Which you can do with the three and the plus one, right? Or the plus, yeah, the plus one is enough. In any case, I can recharge plus one here, plus one here, and I can recharge some focus, which is nice since I spent some. And Goblin only has one hit point, so away he goes. His mighty, mighty counterattack of five points kind of fizzles out against Orc X. Yeah, can't counterattack if <laughs> your you're brain into a pulp. Your brain is all over those books. It's the first time his brain interacted with books at all, I'm sure. Um, Anyhow. Yeah. Oh, by I'm... the way, the yes, the Minotaur just burned one torch, right? So yeah. after the elf's turn, we had two down. All right, that's right. And the goblin would have given me either a spell or an item, but since that's Grogul we're talking about here, I'm just going to take the item. And it's the Sun Hammer. It's a plus one strength attack and it recharges one focus whenever you use it. I'm going to discard that on the ground because he doesn't need focus all that much and already has a plus one strength attack. But Sir Lennon really could could use that. So I'm going to leave it here for him. That said, I'm just going to remind you that your battle axe is a, is a conditional for additional damage. Oh yeah, could just go ahead and use that more often with the sun hammer. Eh, not a bad idea. All right, orc takes the <laughs> holy <laughs> hammer. <laughs> Melee weapon, sunny side up. Right, right. That's Grokul done. Grokul done. Torch moves. Torch burns down. And it's over to Win Kalos. Win is probably going to attempt to shoot the Minotaur. That he very well could do. I mean, I mean, as long as he's in line of sight, the Minotaur can counterattack, probably throwing something. But I also, you know, I kind of need to be in line of sight in order for a bow to work. Of course. Just wanted to make sure you know he can counterattack. The bow is a minus one as well. Yes. So that kind of sucks. But he's only got a defense of four against it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No risk, no fun, something like that. It's It's got a much better chance to succeed than the Paladin has. Probably. Ah, uh, yeah. Do I want to first stealth myself and reveal the room behind me? You could, because that's one guaranteed not to have another mini boss. Right. So just stealth myself for my entire move action, which now gives me four points of movement in which I'm not hurt by enemies, right? Um, you are hurt by enemies, but your movement isn't, isn't stopped. Impeded. Okay. You just run into them. Oh, you found the Pharaoh's sarcophagus. 
that's nifty. Of course, with a agility check, I could reclaim items from the floor. Or spells. Or spells. <clears throat> However, there are none, so... Meh, kinda useless. I could explore one more room, but I'm not sure I'm going to get anything out of it. Yeah, we, s we still have to deal with that Minotaur. Minotaur first. I'm going to go back onto the stairwell and shoot the Minotaur, hopefully somewhere between the horns. Shooting is an agility check, range 2, minus 1, strength. So that's a 7, I see. Yeah. And the torch moving again. And the torch moving again. But a 7 isn't bad, that almost kills the guy. Almost, you say? Yeah. That being said... Could make an, an 8. Is that going to help anything? Yes. Yes, it In does. In case, I'm going to make it an 8. Oh, wait. Uh, you've got a minus 1 on that, so I that's 7. I do have a minus 1 on that. So that but it's still almost kills him. Still almost kills him, but I think almost killing him is worth that. Yeah. Yeah, so. it is. Because then he could die by Seeking Bolt. Yeah. So spend two to roll the die. Mm -hmm. One up. Regain one because I don't use the four. Yes. Get a six plus two is eight, minus one is seven. He's got a defense of four, so that's one, two, three, and he's on his last hit point. Nice! Beef is almost served. Beef is almost served. Torch moves down because Time. Minotaur burns the torch. Yes. Spawns a goblin. In the entrance. That's a stabby goblin. It is. And then moves down again because time. Yeah, that means all our baddies act. We start with the goblins, and the stabby goblin would either move or if he's in the room with a hero, he targets that room. Let me just see how the phrasing is here. He takes, he targets one hero in the same room. So either Kalos. Or Sir Lennon, and I think Sir Lennon will take this one. Because okay. he's more he's got more HP overall and he can heal. Okay. And that's that. He does as much damage as there are goblins in the dungeon, but he's the only goblin, so just one damage. Now the Minotaur. He can move and attack a target in his room, but Monsters in this game always target the closest hero, so he'll just stomp, sl the, stomp the poor elf sorceress for three damage. Yeah, she's still breathing. That's good. She did wonder if she was a mortal, didn't she? Yeah, there was that part of her story. She is believed to be a goddess and she's going adventuring to put herself at risk of dying, because if she dies, then she has proven that she's not a god. She's a reborn goddess atheist. Because why not? I kind of like the story. Anyhow, um, Stomp goes the Minotaur, and Paladin to the rescue, please. Paladin to the rescue. He's starting in a room with a monster. He would stop his movement if he enters a room with a monster but he can move freely if he starts in one. So he moves one room, spends two focus on healing hands, and quickly just grabs through the doorway to touch the elf and heal her for two points of damage. Nice. Still, she's still pulp if the Minotaur acts again. Yeah, uh, you, you'll just seeking bold him. I believe in you. And Probably. I go back and... Now I can't move anymore, but I don't want to. I want to... Use my hammer on the goblin. Hammer is a melee, uh, melee attack without any modifiers. So I need a five. Let's go. There's a four plus one. That's, That's enough. He doesn't get to counterattack because I kill him. And I get one focus back. Nice. 
So that's the Slappy Goblin gone. I could either heal for three or pick up an item, and I very much want the item. Which turns out to be a spiked buckler. That's pretty nice. Means I can't heal for now, but my attacks are enhanced. Which is nice. It's not like anyone important is bleeding, says the priest. Um, speaking of her, torch moves down. Yeah, torch moves. But speaking of her, it's her turn. <clears throat> she has absolutely no focus and only three HP, so that's exactly enough to be smashed by that Minotaur. Well, she can move before using her Seeking Bolt. True. Can she? One, two, three. Yeah, she can just dodge onto the uh, Witch's Cauldron or into the Armory. Yeah, I think she's going to dodge into the Witch's... Oh, that's a full action, sadly. So if I do that, I can't snipe the Minotaur. But you could still just stand there and kill the Minotaur from there. If I'm lucky. Well, you just need to focus, and the test is just a five. Yeah, uh, you're right. Okay, so one, two, three. And Seeking Bolt, the Minotaur. Yeah, let's hope for some focus. He does not get to retaliate either way. No, he can't see you. That's a five, but no focus. No focus. You only get focus if you succeed on the test, so... Oh, I don't even get that focus. No. So... Yep, it was worth that's a try. Passed. Goblin spawns in the entrance. Goblin spawns, let's go. It's a pokey goblin. Six defense. And now it's over to Grog Ul. Do I want to charge that Minotaur? No, I can't. I can't even get there. You'd have to sprint, huh? No, you can't even get there. Period. Yeah, because the goblin is in my way. No, oh well. Goblin hammering time. Okay. I mean, the Minotaur doesn't attack every hero in the room, he just attacks one hero in the room. No, I'm fairly sure it's uh, every hero. It's, it's a target in the room, otherwise you would have the uh, every hero symbol. Is that so? Okay. Yep, um, okay. I mean, pause it real quick, I'll check. Alright, I checked. Actually, it's targeting every hero in the room, so when Kalos also got stabbed by the Stabby Goblin earlier, and that Minotaur will hit everything in that room. Hmm. So I'm not sure if I want to move the Orc over there. I mean, it's three points of damage on three heroes. That's a lot. That's of a lot. Pain. So, unless we use the feast hall, that is going to very much hurt us in the long run. Yeah. Um, I'll just explore. Go. I'm going here, so I don't spawn another boss that close. And I find Shelby's web, which is a trap. It's a seven to succeed. I can uh, I can choose which skill I want. So strength. strength. Orc struggles against the webs. By the way, I have no idea who Shelby is, but apparently it's his or her web. That's not succeeding because that's two plus two plus two. That's only a six. I need a seven, so I spent two focus and. Change one of the twos to a three. Yeah, and now it's a seven. So I succeed. I don't take damage. I think I could just disarm this thing. Probably not a bad idea. I'll do another strength check. Just a six now. There you and go. There's the six. And I'll actually use this six so I can take the three focus and focus myself back up. Nice. Now, the web is disarmed. I can take either an item or a spell. Orc is still an orc, so he takes the item. Or rather throws it on the floor, because I found the Ring of the Phoenix. Hey! First of a set that is very much geared towards spell users. 
Right, so then, time passes. Time passes and monsters act. Smashing time. Yeah, very much. Uh, the Pokey Goblin goes first. He either moves or attacks all heroes within one room. That's which is pretty much most. everyone. <laughs> everyone except for the Orc takes one damage from being poked. But that's not so bad. No. Time In for the cow. contrast to the Minotaur, who could go five rooms but is happy to find this room and just clobber both Sir Lannan and Wincalus for three damage. Mayor State, ouch. Indeed. That's that. Yes. Minotaur will will get to act next in two turns. Maybe we want to do something about this guy. I would advise very much to shoot it? Yeah, shoot it. Shoot it. So, Wynn is going to go into his home square and shoot him from here without any bells or whistles. Yeah. He gets to retaliate if he lives. Yeah. Which isn't that unlikely. Given um, how we rolled today. You, you still have two focus. I do still have two focus. Then how much you can defense? Kill him. He has a defense of four. Four. So that's. And for two focus, I can change the face of one of these dice. I'll change the three to a two. That's a six. Minus one is five. Yes. Against the defense of four. Kills the Minotaur. He dies. And is our first key to the boss door. And since I succeeded, I also regain one focus from the unused four. Now, we killed a minion, so that means we get more time. Torch goes back six squares. And you twice get to choose to have a spell or an item. Items, please. Right, first item is the Shield of the Lion. Shield of you the Lion, that. that's a cool item for someone who uses it. And Second set. Yeah, and third set, Great Axe of the Bear. Great. Sure, I'll take it, whatever. It's a melee attack plus two, that's actually not that bad. No, even with only two dice, it's okay. But it's so unwieldy you get slower, but I don't think Wind you care Wind has four much. movement, that's okay. I mean, I could leave it for someone else to pick up later on, but I think I'd rather have something useful on him now. Right. Let's get this guy out of here. Yes, please. Right, time passes again. Time passes. And... Sir Lennon. Sir Lennon. Sir Lennon isn't that stupid, so he'll just go over here and take the free action of the dining room, or feast hall. Go ahead. And with two dice, try to pick out something that's nice and edible. That's a six that succeeds, and he even gets a focus back. Then he has to spend three in order to heal. One, two, three, and he's back, back up to, to eight health. I would have done that with Win, but he didn't have the focus for it, so... And then I'll just move back and get rid of the goblin, because we get Please. a new goblin. That's a strength check. Now with a plus one, because I have a spiked buckler. So for the pokey goblin who's got a six, I can just take the four plus two and plus one out of my buckler. It's seven, does one damage. Gets Kills. rid of him. Poke Goblin is loot and an explore tile? Yes. Um, for loot, um, I might want to exchange the shield of the lion for the spiked buckler. Wouldn't, nah. wouldn't we want the healing every hit set oh. on the I don't have defense orc? Yeah, that's. Smarter. So I'll pick up a new item, which is the plate mail of the line. Nice. Waiting here for the orc. And could then... actually just equip it because I don't think the orc's going to pick up 
two items in one turn, right? No, but then I'd have to discard it again on my turn so he can pick it up because the set only starts doing stuff when you have two items. I know, but you could just discard it next turn. It's just plus one defense. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, also, it might it might be possible to pick up two items in one turn, given that we have the armory. True. Um, that's that's actually very true. That armory just, in my head, jumped usefulness by a lot. But that's how this game goes. All of the rooms are meh until you eventually realize that they are fairly awesome. No, I killed the goblin. I looted the goblin. And now I get to reveal a room. Yes. And I think I might want to reveal one back over where the elf is. Go ahead. Mini boss time. No, he lives. He lives. Um, I'm all right with the orientation here. It's a goblin, and it's a goblin that didn't do a damage for somebody stepping onto him. He guards the jewel chest. Let's see for how much longer. So that's that. Time passes and a new goblin spawns at the entrance. Oh, by the way, that goblin in the room. Shooty goblin. And the one at the entrance. Boomy goblin. Ew. Yeah, that needs to die. Yep. Shooty Goblin is move and kill heroes. Those are both, both bad. awful. <laughs> they are very, very bad. Um, and the elf can't do anything about either of them right now. Because she still has no focus. I would actually like to use the Witch's Cauldron in order to regain some focus and a spell. But I'm afraid it's just too slow. Yeah. So I could, I guess, just use the Seeking Bolt once again you in could order to hopefully get some... You could Let's dodge go. out of the room so you don't get retaliated at. And if you kill the... Yeah. I'll actually have to check if the shooty, how far the shooty goblin moves or if he's just content to find one hero he can attack. Uh, he's just content to find one. If he has a target, he's happy. So he'll just attack when Kalos. I think every enemy moves onto the nearest hero space. And that's about it. Do you want to verify that? I want to verify that. So yeah, it'll want to move until it hits a room with a hero and then do things. So from there he would attack for one damage the elf and the paladin. Which isn't that bad, so just the boomy needs to go. Yeah, but I don't know if I can get rid of the boom. Should I just... No, I... I really shouldn't just try to stab him with a dagger. It's not going to work. No, the, the chance is actually worse than hitting him with the Seeking Bolt. I believe so, too. You can, in any case, move two oh. rooms so he can't attack you. Yeah, I'll move over here. And then just strike him for... Well, hopefully... No counter-attack, since you can't see you. Hopefully, I'm going to hit it. I do actually manage to hit it. The six is enough. The six is enough, so I regain three points of focus. Then I get to spend two points of focus on the Seeking Bolt smashing the goblin. That removes the goblin bomber. And nets me one item one of item or my spell. choice. Ring of the Phoenix. Ta -da. In the long run, with your focus problems. Yeah, in the long run, sure. Maybe she just needs a coffee. Probably. All right. Right. Um, that's her turn done, though. So, or success. And all the baddies act, but thankfully, that's just the shooty goblin now. Moves onto the square of Winkalus. Does one damage to him. He's and fine. I'm sure he's fine. And does one damage to um, the paladin. Elves thrive on low hit points. Or was it die? Ah. <laughs> Alright. Um, 
think it's orc time. It's orc time. It looks like it's orc time. You can't move all the way back there. I'll just explore over here, but not yep. adjacent to the elf. That would yep. be impolite. That's a minion. I found the next mini boss. Well, we need one eventually. Yeah, and it do. can't be the Minotaur, so how much worse can it be? Oh, I wish you hadn't said that. Hey, look, there's a troll in this game. Interesting. Did we mention that while we played a couple of rounds, we hardly saw everything? What miniature is that? The purpley one? It's the purpley one. <laughs> All right, he actually hits as hard as the number of goblins in the dungeon. <laughs> That's curious. He also hits back like a truck. Especially on melee attacks. Yeah, but not, especially, not that especially. <laughs> yeah, not that especially. So the orc is actually going to try to hit him. He takes two damage just from having found that thing. Uh-huh. But... Well, somebody needs to try to hit it. So... Um, could you put that back over here? Got a four. So I have a five here. Almost as bad as it gets. I spent two focus... Uh, three focus. One, two, three. Yep. It's a free action, so I can do it at any point. Yeah. To get plus two on that, I get plus one on that from my hammer. Yeah. And that's also a conditional, so I can just do it after doing the battle rage. Yep. And now you could, even if you wanted to spend two focus to change the three into a plus two, if you'd want it. Let's see how much damage I would do right now. So that's plus one plus two and five that's eight he's got a defense of four and that's half his hit points so if you spend some you reduce them to two hit points right yeah which i'm going to do because then he's actually with the ring of the phoenix you can see king ruled him then um i think we miscounted i think he's taking even more damage but right. uh let's just see um one, two, three, four, five, and five is ten. Are you dealing six points of damage to him? Yeah, I should be. Right, so he's at one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then he retaliates. Get one focus back. From what? Oh, right. I'm not using this. Right. Right. Um, he retaliates for seven. <laughs> yes, that <laughs> almost creams. kills the orc. That exactly creams the orc, doesn't it? I was at five hit points. Yeah, and you have two defense. Oh, I have two seven. defense. I thought I had three. No, yeah, no, you do not have elvish undergarments. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm... Still happy I did that attack. <laughs> <laughs> it was cinematic if nothing else. <laughs> Storm the troll. Get yeah. knocked down by the troll. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. You should see the other guy. In this case, sadly, I was the other guy. You are the other guy, exactly. Um Win. No. Torch. No. Torch. Now win. Now win. Um Move away from the dangerously unstable goblin and shoot the troll? You can. Because the goblin is actually harder to kill than the troll. Yeah, and if you manage to kill the troll, the torch moves back. Yep. A lot. In the starting space even. But we, we're not wasting any torchlight, so that's good. I'm going to move here and shoot the troll. Am I going to move even further? No, it doesn't really matter because the goblin gets there anyway and he doesn't act for forever. So, yeah. if you if manage to kill the. No worries, I got this. I'm sure I got this. 
I'm sure I'm you do. Sure, I. Got you know, this. I'll, I'll edit out that. I sh I'm sure you do in case you fail. I'm sure you will. Ah, uh, that's a fail. Is it? No. It Two, is. four, minus one, three. He's got an. You would have of... needed a five. I would have needed a five. I'm sure I got this. That must be up there in last words. So I die. Yeah. Well, you get knocked unconscious. Ah, and nobody same really thing. dies in this game. Same thing. Apart from the monsters. Who's counting? And for those who think, oh, why didn't you just go to the troll and hit him with the great axe of the bear because the great axe of the bear makes me so slow I can't reach him. I could ditch it in order to get to him, but then I'd have to stab him with my dagger. So, no can do. Alright. Um, that was that. Torch moves. Torch moves, goblin spawns. Goblin spawns at the entrance. It's another stabby goblin. It's fine. It probably it's, is, it's, you know, it's because fine. it's Sir Lennon's turn now. Mm -hmm. He can just easily cream the troll. He's got a better chance, actually, because he's got a plus one instead of a minus one. It's a better chance. He uses the spike buckler. If he would have gotten the same roll I got last time, he would have gotten That's a five. That's already enough. That's already enough. And I get two focus. Regain two focus. And I discard the buckler after this, but let's first do the troll. Although I can discard this at any time, I think. Give me a second to check. Why do you want to discard it? Oh, Be to heal. Yes. Yeah, it's a free action in my turn. So after this is finished, but before I get my loot, I discard the Spike Buckler. Because discarding is a free action and healing hands is a free action. So I heal for two focus, which brings the Orc back up to two. And I spent another two focus, bringing back up to four. Which means he can act in his turn. Then I loot the troll. Loot the troll. What's he got? A torch. Very useful. And two times loot, I think. He's got the cloak of the panther, which means stealth movement all the time. That's also Neat. part of the panther set. Which so. win very much once. Yes. And the claw of the panther. Hmm. Which Wind probably prefers over his great axe. Yes. I think he needs to visit the armory. armory. A lot of people need to. So, that finishes Sir Lennon's turn. It does. And, and the torch moves. The torch and moves. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. This, this was good. It was doable. Also, Troll is gone and boss door gets another key. Etherna. Etherna. Might want to actually use that cauldron now. If or I'm you want to seeking bolt. If I'm entirely honest, I'm considering just resting. Yeah, that's actually pretty smart. Because I, I'm fed up of being out of focus every turn and having to bite my nails, hoping that the spell goes off and then resignating if it doesn't. That's all right. Just best. Do you want to move before that? Don't Was believe resting. I do. I'm in a not really a dead end, but one path, two rooms wide, so we're probably exploring everywhere else. Just my, so my, own th my only thought was maybe you want to stand here because you've definitely got enough movement to go over there if you need if need be, and from there you can reach pretty much the whole dungeon. 
which you can't from where you're standing right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's two tiles away from the entrance, which means it's in range for boomy goblins. But yeah, 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 it's fine. It's probably fine. Then I'll rest so that heals me for three yeah. and recovers my focus up to by five, up to six. And that's my turn. That's your turn. Torch moves. And it's back to Grok Ul, who sadly can't reach the armory he very much wants to get to. Purple Goblin is in the way, but he just moved to here and hit this goblin. Please. With his sun hammer. The guy at the entrance is the stabby goblin. So one hit, sunny size up. That's a six, that's enough. Right. And I recover all of my focus. And the stabby goblin goes away. I could take an item, but I'll just take the heal for three. Almost healing the orc back up. This has improved things. And spawned another goblin. Stabby goblin at the entrance. I'm sure he helped. Yeah. <laughs> You're not convinced? Okay. It's over to Winkeelis, who is still unconscious. Not anymore. He regains consciousness. And he can move. And he can't, can't move. Forget. He can move. He can move. Oh, yeah. he can move. So he can actually avoid being horribly crippled by the stabby and shooting. The only thing is you were forced to take the heroic action of resting and you're not allowed to take any free actions if you were unconscious at the beginning of your turn. Right, but you right, get right, a right. move after your heroic in this case. I get a move after my heroic. The stabby goblin only targets everything in his own room and yeah. the shooty will gets move me. up. Yeah, he will get me and Etherna since she didn't stay in the trapped room. Well, you could move one towards the shooty goblin or and actually just move onto the shooty. Prevent him from shooting anyone. Yeah, that's... Uh, I'm gonna block your shot with my face. So that's what happens. Shooty Goblin goes, shoots all heroes within two rooms, which is the Orc and the Elf, just for one damage. That's not so bad. The Stabby Goblin stabs every hero in his mo room for the number of goblins, so that's two more damage on the Orc. Back over to Sir Lennon. He'll just use his regular old hammer, trying to hammer some sense into the Stabby Goblin. That's sensible. Yeah. Five uh, is enough. Five is enough, you're right. Great, so I get one hit point and two focus. Indeed. And I can just spend two focus to give the orb two HP. So that's that done. And Stabby Goblin gives me some loot, and I very much want some loot. What sort of loot do you want? New loot? Get back the spiked buckler? Uh, Finally give up and loot the lion's head? I could just loot the lion's stuff. Not sure you want to. It would also prevent me from healing. Indeed. Just uncover more loot that we can exchange in the... I get elven chainmail, which is very good here. Let's me move faster, gives me more defense. All yeah. around, nice things. So, torch. Torch. Nothing happens for the moment. And back over to our elf. Yeah, Etherna, who's well rested and ready to rock. There's only one enemy remaining, so. It's a shooty goblin who, as a reward, could refill your focus. I'm going to cream that shooty goblin in order to regain some focus. Five focus, wow. 
or we could try to uncover more gear. Let's see how the roll goes first. Yeah, and let's see where you want to go for it. Yeah. Could shoot him from right here, but do I want to? Could just go into the goblin's room. You could. Just have this auto aiming seeking bolt and just <laughs> press your hand into his face. I mean, doesn't miss? May as well. Yep, I'm going to do exactly that. The aim isn't any worse at point blank. Yep. So that's what I'm going to do. Seeking bolt. It's an intelligence check for five. Not four, five. So you need to spend I'm some focus. going to focus myself into this three being a plus two. Because that seems smart to me. Then I get the five I need. See? It's and so you get easy. back two focus. And I get back two focus, which I will spend on the seeking bolt. That kills the goblin, and now it you does. can either have an item or recharge five focus. I would waste one point of focus, so I'm going to take the item. Right. People may think this is stupid, but it all depends on what I draw here. Reeves of the lion. See another lion set, the orc is going to love me forever. Maybe. <laughs> if you want that. I'm not sure I do. Torch. More goblins at the entrance. More goblins at the entrance. It's boomy. Alright, Grok Ull's turn. Now, there is a boomy goblin here. There is. But there's also the treasury right next to me. There is. If I mess up just once, the boomy will boom. But I still want that line set. Go ahead. Hopefully some gain onto the pain. I need a seven. That's not a seven, and you cannot make it into one. No, I can't. So, if it goes wrong once, boom. That's boom. It goes boom. On me, on the orc, and on the el uh, on the on everyone, and on the elf. Everyone takes two points of damage. That knocks the archer unconscious. I'm going to try this again, <laughs> because we just learned it's smart to do. That's a five. I can... Make it into a seven. Yeah, and I will. With... Two... F Excuse me, did you just... I spent four... I spent two focus on it. You could have just uh, spent yeah, two... You're, you're right, I'm... Other way around. <laughs> this was a four. Was it? No, it wasn't. It was a three. It was a three. And now you can just turn one of the threes into a plus two. That works. Yeah. And I pick up the greaves of the line so I can walk faster. Walking is good. And now I just move back and kill the goblin and just take his loot his just, lion loot yeah that's uh plus one i get one out of the hammer so yeah i'm just taking the six that easily breaks his four since it's actually a seven yep removes the boomy before he can boom anymore Recharge two focus, Recharge one of which two focus. fizzles, and get myself the shield of the line. Yeah, you don't need to sprint anymore now that you have the comfy griefs. Yes, that was the idea. And now, get another you goblin. goblin. <laughs> I'm afraid we really need the next mini boss sooner or later. I know I've already been trying to work on it, but. Uh, 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 
Yeah, I just wanted to have better equipment on the orc, so it I know. actually makes sense. But equipping that boomy goblin should help. <laughs> you can throw him and he can throw <laughs> grenades. I was already deep in thought planning out the rest of the dungeon. I'm sure. Insert monkey with symbols here. Um, Win. Win. Stands take, up. <laughs> take a nice long rest. Taking a nice long rest. He's already full focus, but he has three hit points once again. Hope he <laughs> keeps those until he's, his turn comes around. Again. You know what? He's actually going to go out of dodge from the entrance room. That's probably smart. <clears throat> right. Um, turn done. Sir Lannan. Sir Lannan. He doesn't have enough focus to help anybody here so, so he just needs to hammer the goblin probably yeah else it oh oh we forgot to move the torch oh we did so boomy goblin explodes again goes boom again but now at least one of the elves is out of range yes etherna was healthy a second ago mm -hmm. so sir lennon is going to go over here and try once again to find edible food. Right. Oh no, I would need Even to spend focus for that. You'd need a lot of focus in that role, yeah. Yeah. So, hammer. Smashing time. That's seven. Seven. Oops. I mean, five is enough. Five is enough, so I just... Recharge all your focus. Yeah. Or at least most of it. Most of it. That's Boomy Goblin. Boomy Goblin gone. And I get another treasure for that. It's a ruby figurine. Ooh. Some people might like that. Hmm. Enhances strength. Can't enhance anything past three, so he doesn't need it. But he's got the heals. And he'll spend all of his healing ability on himself and on the orc. Really? Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, just have these already ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, with Thurland's turn done, it comes back around to Etherna. After moving the torch. After moving the torch. Yeah, Etherna. If she finds a... Minion? A minion, she's dead. She probably wants to hit that feast hall. Honestly, I had been considering going into the treasure room and spending a torch charge to uncover those two rooms. Don't you but want to heal first? Yeah, I want to heal first. Okay. One movement point into yeah. here. Three dice into... Uh, smartness check for yeah. Is it intelligence. Intelligence. Oh, intelligence. So I got it. Intellect. Intellect. There we go. I got it. I get two focus back. I get to spend three points of focus to heal by five. Worth it. Yeah. And, and no. I spent only one movement. Mm -hmm. So. Now, if you want to spend the torch, be aware that we both get a goblin and the goblin acts, and if you uncover anything in the rooms, that would act. You're right. I'm going to uncover this. There we go. I got one regardless, and I get smacked on the face immediately again. Yeah, but it doesn't get to act immediately. Yeah, it that. being a troglodyte. Right. Um, should I? I'm probably just going to seeking bolt it. Yeah, you can't move out of the room anymore unless you want to rest now. I mean, I could cloud of death him too. The but ring of phoenix would also enhance that. Yeah, it would. So that's either four focus for three damage or two focus for two damage. 
maybe just go with the Seeking Bolt here. I only now. have three focus, so unless I get a, at least plus one, it's going to fail. And I don't want it to fail once again. I already take the troglodyte to the face if yeah, I cast a spell. He's got a plus three. So he's going to knock me out. Maybe. Am I even going to attack him? You could skip it. That's an awful lot of plus three. Let me just see. I think you can rest even with an enemy in the room. So that would recover some health and, and focus. focus. Yeah, I think I'm going to do just that. Yeah, there's nothing against it in the rules. You uncovered a troglodyte, it hit you in the face, and you decided to take a nap. Yeah, napping is good. I'm full health, full focus. Let's go. Someone else. Goblin spawns. Goblin spawns. And it's a pokey goblin. Since that's not that bad, I'll just leave it at the entrance here. Yep. Grog Ul is going to go over here and attack the troglodyte. Yep. With his sun hammer. And since he's wearing the Greaves of the Lion, that heals him for one. And thanks to the shield, he even has a little bit of health now. So there's a six here. With health you mean armor, right? Armor, yeah. Um, I can reroll one of the dice, which I might do. The shield of the lion. Six, 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 and all the sadness. I will, however, um, spend three on a battle rage. Which is plus two. Which is plus two, and then recover one from the sun hammer. Right. And now I have plus two, plus another one, that's... Nine. Nine, all in all. He's got a defense of five, so he takes four damage from you. Right. And then he deals two to you, and you heal for two, for the two unused sixes, and yep. that's it. I think I heal first from the sixes, and, and then, then I get... take two. Yeah. Also, this face just means he he rolled exactly my armor, so a two, and I just take the plus three. Three, actually, because you have a three with your shield. But oh yeah, you're right. But it's still. a critical. It ignores armor, basically. Yeah. There we go. Right. Troglodyte damaged, and now it and everything else in the dungeon acts. First, the Pokey Goblin. First, the Pokey Goblin. Who is happy standing where he is and does one damage to the Paladin. Yeah. And then the Smelly Lizard. The smelly Lizard is going to stink up the place and especially Elephant Orc, yeah. dealing two points of damage and two points of focus. Still could have been worse. A lot worse. So. It's the other elf, and this time he isn't unconscious. That's a first in a long while. Yes. What is he going to do with that newfound power? Well, he's got that big honking axe of killing. He does. He could introduce the troglodyte to it. He could. Do you think that would work? It would. And I will. Do I even have the movement? I do have the movement. One, two, three. So, X of the bear against Troglodyte. Let's hope he rolls at least a five. No, at least a six. With his two dice. There is a at six. At least a six. That hits, that kills. If I you get plus two out of that. Plus two, that's a eight against his five, five armor, and he has three hit points, so... Dead exactly. Dead exactly. Phew. Another key. Another and key. Torch moves back six. Six. Yeah, and I'm going to drop the axe 
in favor of the claw and the cloak. So you're beginning to get that panther set. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's that. Monsters act. And by monsters, I mean the pokey goblin who still pokes the paladin. <laughs> Again. But it's the paladin's turn. Time to poke back. Also. Oh, still. that one is removed. So, paladin. Does he poke back or does he go explore? No. I don't know. No, I think he... Do stuff. I think he just reduces the number of goblins. Get another one immediately. Or... You know what I'm going to explore. We need to make some progress. And with the elven chain mail, if this room is empty, I can still make it back. Good. It's empty. What's this? It's a healing room. It'll heal you if for you one time. Spend time, okay. Time is the one thing we don't have. Yeah, the dungeon can still be expanded. Um, I think somebody will just kill that thing on the way. Probably. And his friend. Oh, I found the pulley room. Hmm, that's useful. <laughs> if you have focus. Oh. And I also found another goblin. That you did. That would be a good room to try the burn torch for explore rooms. Yeah, but not right now because we already spawned a goblin. I know, not right now, just in general. Just in general, yeah. Before we go exploring off into strange places from there. Found a stabby. Right. And I'll attack the stabby. Good. I get one damage because I uncovered it. Yes. Then. So oh, I, I smash. only need the five to kill the stabby. Yep. Two focus and one health recovered. Yes. That'll just take the stabby for three more health. That's that. That's that. Could have been Paladin's good. turn ended and he's not at zero focus. That's a new one. And new uh, goblin. New goblin. Wait a moment. Need to shuffle the goblin discard. There's a lot of these guys. Who could have yes. thought a place called the Goblin Coast was this swarming with goblins? I had an idea, you know, but I didn't want to sound stupid, so I kept it to myself. So there's a boomy. And it's back to Etherna. Don't you have something like a cloud of death or something like that? I do, actually. But I think I'm going to use it too. It's a full action, but that doesn't matter. I just need to clean these two goblins. So I'm going to move one room. Yes. And just roll the dice on it. Smart, now they can hit you back. Huh? Now they can hit you back. I need it to be adjacent. Ah, alright. It's only range one. Oh, right. I only need to. Uh, I also need to succeed in it. Yeah, you need a six for it. I can't make that, can I? No, it doesn't look like it. No. Because if you do, you don't have enough focus. No. But since it was a spell and... How does that even work? It's not a single target attack, so does each goblin attack me back for four now? No, you just pick out one of them. Quick pause whilst I check. You get to choose which one of these counterattacks you. I mean, it doesn't really matter because they... They hit. both do the same. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Okay. It so they have a four, they get plus two on their counterattacks. Because so plus number of goblins. So that's yes, six. Yes, that's six. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Um, six deals me three points of damage, which sends me to one HP. But goblin time! No, unless you wanted to. But you're standing in the feasting hall, which has a free action there. Oh. And you didn't spend focus this turn. I didn't. So maybe you wa don't want to you know, die? I don't want to die. I'd rather eat. <laughs> At least not on an empty stomach. <laughs> it's 
fair, I guess. Um, yeah, I just need to crack four, and it's impossible not to. There you go, there's your four. There's my four and three points of focus, so I'm fully focused. I heal full in turn for three focus. Which alleviates the goblin turn a little bit. A little bit, yes. But not by a whole lot. Well, the pokey goblin either moves or attacks all uh, adjacent heroes, and he'd rather hero. attack than move. Yeah, so he does two damage on the elf, and the boomy goblin reaches everyone but the paladin and explodes for two damage. Means the orc barely survives. Same for Win and Ethernia. So Ethernia. Yeah. We still might have this. Yeah, we got this. No, no problem. No concerns whatsoever. Um, Grokul. Grokul. You know, go explore something or so. No. Do stuff. I'll kill that boomy goblin. Please do. Because since I have the Greaves and Shield of the Lion, that's one HP for me. Whenever you attack. And an attack. So I get one focus out of the Sun Hammer right off the bat. And I have plus one strength on the Sun Hammer. You do? So that's a five. That's a five. So this four is enough to get rid of the Boomy. It is. Smash it. I smash it. I get focus back up. And I can take an item. And I just want to take this plate mail of the line. Yes. Healing two hit points whenever you attack something in the Yes. And removing this thing. That's sadly already Grog Ul's turn, but I think things it's, are yeah, looking up a bit. I'm sure, I'm sure. It's back I'm, to Win. Win is going to spend his turn killing a goblin, then that spawns a goblin, and yeah, everything's fine. Well, it's a pokey, which means we can use that to explore. Should I dare explore another room with Win? Because I am stealth. But I'm going to die if I actually end up finding anything. Mm, then don't. I thought so. Maybe I should quickly feast on some food. Problem but I only... Is... I'm not very smart, so I probably <laughs> guess just stuff my face with... <laughs> you know, rangers are famously bad at knowing what is edible and what not. That's true. Um, you know, I'm just gonna go in here and stab him with the claws of a panther. All right. You need a seven. I have a plus one and three dice. What would you rather have me do? Shoot him? No, no, no. I was just considering. Also, you have two things of the panther. Nah, which that... gives me plus one in ranged combat, but you which don't... is still worse than my plus one on melee combat. All right, go for it. You have enough focus to fix the die slightly. That's true. There's your six. There's my six. That's seven. That's seven. Easy. Not even close. I think that's... I'm going to use two points of focus. No, I'm not. I thought about changing that to a plus two and then using the four and the plus two so I can use the six to heal, but I could also just continue my movement back onto the feast hall and then not... Yeah, we just went over that, didn't we? So I heal for one from the six, and that's that. Pokey Goblin goes away. Pokey Goblin goes away. Give me another item. Please let it be the bow. It's a violet tape, yeah, which would very much help on the wizard. Maybe, yeah. It's got a plus one for the intellect. Yeah, that's helpful. I mean, right. she just messed that up. I know. Don't remind her. Um, do I do anything else? No, I don't think I do. So, goblin Goblins. spawns. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the remaining two points of movement to move away from the potential AoE. 
Well, you are stealthed, but the problem is you did your heroic action. Oh, that ends my movement. Yes. And the boomy goblin appears. The boomy goblin. Right, couldn't have run far enough for that anyway. No, what? Um, no. The paladin could just rest and use the pulley device to get rid of that. Sure, that's actually not so such a bad idea. So I'm going to rest, putting my focus up, and then I'm going to use the free action in my room to use this pulley device and through some weird Rube Goldberg machine shenanigans, this will kill the goblin at the entrance. Minus one. Minus one. And I think I'll actually just take the great axe of the bear because... Finally having a weapon sounds good. Yes. Back down to three movement, but <clears throat> so what? No. All, everything activates, nothing happens. Yeah. Back to the wizard. Yes. Etherna? Might do want thing. to eat more because otherwise she can't uncover a boss. She just wants to stuff her face. Adventuring is very bad for your body shape. That's a six. That's, That's enough. enough. And you even get a focus and another HP, but the HP is... One focus, mm -hmm. then I heal to full and get one HP extra. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> but now you can actually go and take a risk. Yep, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. <sighs> Where? Well, I have four points of movements. I could go up to the paladin and just torch the place. You could do that. We need to make some headway we, here. We are too slow as is, so... I'm not sure that's smart. Whatever. But it's also not that dumb. It's... yeah, probably not. So, I'm using the torch. I flip every single room here. You found that's the goblin the bunks. Goblin bunks. That's a portal with a goblin and a mini bossel room. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move the torch because you Please. torched. That's a shooty goblin over here. Right. Uh, and over there? Here. It's over here. Okay. And our final mini boss is the ooze. I was just about to use the pulley device to kill the miniboss that spawned because it was a goblin. Um, ooze. Ooze, ooze, ooze. Well, you can't use the pulley device because you don't have enough focus. I... yes, that is true. But you could seeking bolt the something. Ooze. Or the goblin? The Maybe ooze the doesn't goblin. even have a lot of retaliation. It doesn't. You're right. But could the goblin restores focus. Goblin restores focus, so they could kill the goblin, regain focus, use the pulley device to kill the goblin. Wait, there's a logic flaw somewhere in there. I could just use the cloud of death and hope. For three damage on the ooze? And to kill the goblin. It's every oh, right. enemy. Yeah, yeah. I, you don't I need to pick a room. No, I think in this case it's actually worth the risk. Just need to hit a six. That's not so bad. And you need a focus. And a focus. A six and a focus. Right, so that doesn't work. Well, it was a bit of a long shot. It really wasn't, though. Right, well, that failed. I'm taking retaliation from one of the targets of my choice. So the ooze would hit me plus one, right? And, and the goblin, goblin would hit you plus one. Plus one, so it doesn't matter either way. You'd take one damage I'd either way. I'd just take one point of damage and that's my turn done. Could have been worse. It could have been worse, I know. Just could have been so much better <laughs> for yes, once in this too. round. Um, we spawn another goblin on the entrance. We do. It's a stabby. Yep. Which Grogul is probably going to heartily ignore. 
does he have enough movement to do something useful elsewhere? He has the Greaves of the Lion. Oh, that's Giving him plus cool. one. Nice. So, one, two... How hard is it to hit that thing in melee? Plus oh, it just three. retaliates. Three, four. Yeah, who cares about retaliation? Not Grogul! <laughs> Not Grogul! <laughs> yep. Um, he and his two hit points going on now adventure. four hit points because... Because Greaves of the Lion. Yep. That's okay. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to spend two, two focus in two. order to make that into a plus two. Yeah. So then I'm getting one focus back up from the sun hammer. And I'm then spending you can... two focus to get another plus two. Yeah. That works better than using your battle axe. Although. Uh, no, that that's actually better than using your battle axe straight up. I could have done a reroll though. You could. I get a free reroll, and I'll ro reroll this three just just to see. Plus one. So now it's actually possible for me to spend two. three focus to activate my battle rage. Yeah. And now let's see where we stand. Now we stand at That's seven, nine, seven. ten. <laughs> As we were saying before one camera died on us, um, that's seven out of the dice, nine with the battle axe, ten, ten with, with the, the sun hammer. He's got a defense of four, so that's six damage on the thing. Yep. And he crits you, which is about as good as you could hope. Yeah, that's three damage on me. Yep. Which means I'm still standing. Yeah. Barely. To Everyone's surprise. And that means he can now kill me. <laughs> True. It is now his turn. It is now his turn. He oh, no. attacks everything within one room and forces everyone to, to discard items. To discard an item. Right, Ring of the Phoenix gets dissolved in the floor. Plate Mail of the Lion and Elven Chainmail. Yeah. But didn't it teach me that the goblins would always act first or something? Oh yeah, right. Not that it matters massively in this case. No. Because the shooty go oh it does actually on Grogul, it does. Because so. the shooty goblin um moves moves into this room and then does one damage to everyone, to everyone within two rooms, which means he gets to knock down Grogul. And Grogul can't be targeted by the ooze anymore because he's unconscious. Nice. Lucky! <laughs> Stabby Goblin deals two points of damage against... The elf, the elf killing him. Killing him. So he doesn't need to discard an item. Clever! Well, uh, he wouldn't have had to... Clever! Um, now the ooze. Yeah, ooze dissolves Mage. one room. Does two damage? It does one, one damage and one forces point. us to drop. And the shooty also did one damage. Yes. So it's back over to the elf, who has to rest. Right. So full focus, full HP, and no way to do anything except move. Except move. Move him over into that part of the dungeon in case we need to find the dungeon door. Yeah, I could just run over here. So that's that. That was Grog's all. No, he moved, thing attacked him, elf moved again. Right. Sir Lennon, please save <laughs> us from this horrible gelatinous ooze mass. He'll wield his. Great Axe of the Bear, giving him plus two. That's great. I think the five will suffice in this case. Five plus two, seven kills. That. Gives me plus two focus and one health. Can't you use your Lay on Hands to get the Orc back on his feet? I actually can. So he's back up to two. Go. 
gets rid of most of my focus, but that's quite all right. And final key in the boss door. Now we can open the door to the lair boss if we know where it is, and we don't. But that would end this act. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And Ooh. now, now I get to choose between picking up items or drawing new items. I'll put the elven chainmail back on. Right. And I draw a new item. Right. Just the warhorn of the bear, which makes my bear set actually work. Nice. And lets me move enemies. Also very nice. Yes, that could come in handy. So, so we say goodbye to the ooze. Goodbye, ooze. He's been useless. And now we spawn the third goblin for the first time. Uh oh. At the entrance. Pierce, another stabby goblin. Mm hmm. And we're back over to the elven sorceress. Usually I'd say, okay, I'm going to move over and use my Cloud of Death, but it never worked out so far. The rolling luck this run has been absolutely atrocious, so I'm just going to learn from it and not try that. You could try to kill the goblin in this room with my Seeking Bolt. Yeah, and then you can use the pulley device if you want. You don't seriously think I'm going to regain focus from rolling three dice? But that's pretty much what I'm going to attempt to do. You're going, you're going to regain focus from uh, killing the shooty goblin, though. That's true. Yeah, that's true. If I forego picking up the Ring of the Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, that works. Um, so I only need the five. Yes, so that's I regain four focus. Four focus. That's more like how things are supposed to be, how I'm used to them working out. Then you can re-equip your Ring of the Phoenix or the Violet Cape, granting you plus one intellect. Yeah, and I think I want the cape, actually, or maybe not. No. Well, you can use the pulley device and then get then another item. get another item, but I think I'd rather search for more Phoenix gear rather than equip the cape. Which is fair. Equip the ring, use the pulley, Kill the stabby goblin. A stabby goblin, yeah. Which lets you either heal three or pick up another item. Healing three sounds very tempting as well. Well, go for it. Yeah, but I could greed. You could no. greed? I'm going to greed. Give me another item. I'm sure it's going to be a phoenix set. It is. Nice. Most of the phoenix. And it's the reason why I didn't pick up the violet cape. Wow. This would grant you teleport. That is rather handy. I could use it, but then I couldn't do anything else, so I'm not going to. So everything acts? Everything, meaning the one goblin left alive. Yeah, which can go four, and I'm going to have it walk over here and mm. not chase the elf. Right, and then deal one point of damage. No, it either walks or attacks. Oh, that's neat. Right, okay, we're safe. Yeah, so the orc comes over here. It does. And needs this goblin to heal himself. Let's see if we can bring down the sun hammer. Yes. The five is, is sufficient. So we refocus. And kill the stabby, and I think I'm just going to heal up. Right. We need some health in the party. Sure, it's a bit boring playing it safe, but it'll help. Maybe. Let's see. Um, win with your stealth and all that. He Maybe could you begin could... to search for the lair door. I mean, there's nothing else to do, really. So yeah. he probably should. I do hope it's just somewhere here, but I'm going to well, start uh, looking here. It's also dependent on 
the lair door is within the last four tiles, so oh. this is possible. We still have a tile left over. This is possible? Yes. Oh, rather, well, I'm not sure when that was spawned. Can't remember. I think the jewel chest was much earlier in the run. Yeah, somewhat earlier. So it's probably not adjacent there. Gonna go open this one. One, two, three, four. You found the graveyard. And a goblin. Still taking damage from it, right? Yes. But now we look up. Not even gonna look, I'm gonna stab it. Because what else am I supposed to do? It's a boomy goblin, I, I'm going to stab it. Kill it with fire. Oh, wait. You can just Bad take idea. the three or the four. Yeah, three or four works, and yeah, that's it. I'm full focus anyway. Well, you yep. could spend focus to get a six out of the four. I could spend four focus to heal for one. Which would then In just turn. equate to just spending one focus because you're getting three back. Two. Because now I'm going to pick the oh, yeah, three yeah, just and two. with the plus one here I don't kill it, right? Why did I do this? Oh again? yeah, that, that was stupid. Just just leave it as it was. I'm going to just fully focus myself and kill it without yeah. without whistles. fancy stuff. So Boomy Goblin goes and you can take an item or a spell. Yep. Item please. He's the one character I would have actually taken the heal on. The item is a hook shot. Hook shot, huh? Which grants you a, a better ranged attack. Yes. Less range, but more oomph. Good to have. Good to have. Plus two instead of plus zero is good. All right. New goblin, goblin spawns. spawns at the entrance. Yep. Another stabby. So that's not going to act anytime soon. And we have Sir Lannan. Go, Sir Lannan. Uncover the truth behind the last. Important to go over here. Okay. From there or from the well? From from the well, actually. Just in case it's not connectable. It's a spike trap. Okay. So save it. Going to use my strength. That doesn't work out for me. No, it doesn't. You only need a six. Oh, I just need a six. Great. Then that's enough. I get one focus even. So now I have two left, but I have one movement left thanks to the Elven Chainmail. I'm going to see if this is the layout. Now. And it is. It is. Nice. Now we know where we are at. Indeed. And I think I'll just rest here. Okay. Bringing my focus back up. Right. Torch, goblin, goblin activates, goblin moves. Goblin moves towards the closest hero. They're equally close. So I'd say he gets to move to... Yeah. Yeah. He only gets to move two? No, he has a movement of four. Yeah, so he goes over here. Mm -hmm. But that means you can use him to heal. I can use him to heal and that's what I'm going to do. Right. Atherna is going to just seeking bolt him into the face. Hoping to hit. I get a plus one now, right? No, I get plus one focus whenever I use a spell. So yeah. get plus one focus, then use the five to hit. And, and then get four focus. Get plus four focus. And then spend two focus in order to use the actual spell, dealing two points of damage to the goblin. Which kills it. And you can either take an item or three health. And given that we are walking into the boss encounter soon... Yeah, you're right. We need to desperately power up, so give me that item. <laughs> All right. 
Your call. Jade figurine. Nah. Here you go, more agility. You could actually just take that because you still have room for one trinket. Sure, that works. Um, I am considering using the ropes of the phoenix. Wait, I didn't move yet. I can still move, Yes, right? but you had your heroic action, which After ends that. your movement. And Yeah, okay. I could, in theory, use the ropes to teleport myself to the feast hall and have a quick snack. You could. Go then, for it. Yeah. We... Going to. We are going to need to bait the boss over into that part of the dungeon anyways. Yep. Okay. If you place me over, I'm going to do that. Where well, we are going, I don't need to focus. Well, you can just take a five. I, I will just take a five, yes. Get one focus from the three. Spend three points of focus to heal up to four. Right. Right. Grok Ul. Grok Ul. Nothing happened. Nothing happened, right. I think I'm just going to bash down the boss's door now. We need to enter the boss there. One, two. I need to step over the spike trap. Oh, you're right. There's that spike trap. You fail. And take three. Unless I don't. Unless you don't. Maybe you just don't. Make this into a plus two. So now I have a six, six here and I get my two back. So. Right. Nice. No trouble. And then use a free action to open the door, was it? Yes. Right. Um, I also need a movement though. How much do I have? I have four, which is exactly enough. Good, because I need to step into the boss's lair. So, boss. This gets removed. We get to flip this around and start from the beginning again. Also, we get a boss encounter. Yeah. Let's just pause briefly, set it all up. I think we're just placing it above there, but we, we'll, we'll see. see. Right. Whilst we set up for Act 2, let's quickly go over the rules for boss encounters. Our randomly selected boss is the Goblin King. We'll use him as a visual aid for explaining stuff. The parts in the upper left should be familiar. They look as they do with any other monster. You've got his movement, his defense and his values for the various counter attacks. He also has a monster action, get over here, and a boss torch, give him the stick. The boss torch only comes into play during counter-attacks and we'll get to that if it happens. Apart from providing monster stats, this card also serves as a room. You can see the entrance here. Heroes can move along these six hero spaces and they can move through each other, but they can't stack on top of each other. That's relevant because each of the spaces has a special effect if you end your movement there. These two are bad. They spawn a new goblin if you decide to stop there. But the others are quite a bit better, adding to your skill rolls or recovering some focus for you. So in general, there's a bit of an advantage to fighting the boss in his lair. You don't need to fight him in his lair though. In fact, you actually need to bait him out into the dungeon. Why? Well, might I direct your eyes to his health bar. At first glance he has 8 hit points, but those get quadrupled because his number of health markers is equal to the numbers of heroes taking part in the game, 4 in our case. So what looks like 8 hit points is actually 32. Things get even more complicated than that though, because his health is warded. His health markers can't be moved down past this point until the ward is dispelled. How is a ward dispelled? You need to get the boss to move onto and thus collect an altar marker. Altar markers are sprinkled throughout the dungeon. One is always placed at the entrance tile and the others are placed in the minions rooms. Which explains the strange magical symbols which are printed onto them. So how do we get the boss out into the dungeon? Well there are two ways to go about this. 
Act 2 provides us with the taunt free action. For two focus we can make the boss move his movement value out into the dungeon. In case of the Goblin King that's a measly one movement. But there's also a second way to get him to move. You can wait until the monsters act and provided the boss doesn't have any targets within reach he will move out into the dungeon to chase down the heroes and attack them unless it's the Goblin King because he's just content to sit around and spawn new goblins at the entrance and heal himself. So we'll actually have to taunt him one room at a time towards an altar marker. Luckily he only has the one ward to dispel. There are bosses which require quite a bit more. So the general plan is get the boss out into the dungeon, make him vulnerable and then bait him back into his lair so we can use the hero spaces to our advantage. Let's see how well that goes. Right, at least we're in luck in the sense that this guy only needs one of the altar markers to know. be vulnerable. Right, so we need to bait him out over that altar, then back in and smash him to pieces. Problem is, I already entered and I can't move back out due to my movement being used up. Unless I want to throw away the shield of the lion to make a sprint back out. Uh, His action is to spawn a goblin at the entrance and heal. I don't know if I would do enough damage to actually warrant hitting him here. Well, he doesn't have an immediate action though. No. Just have a lot of goblins to deal with. Yeah, we do. But Win Kalos can probably do at least a bit about that. Yeah, he can take out one. Alright, let's just hope I'm doing more than two damage to make this actually worth anything. What's his defense? Six. Six. This is... I've got only a plus you, one. You get plus one, plus two out of your heroic, so at least plus three. How hard does he hit back? Plus four. Yeah, he probably would kill me. I'm not sure he, if he'd kill you. You have four defense and eight hit points. Yeah. Four Once defense. you attack. But... It's up to you. I'm advocating for we need to put as much hurt on him as we can. I'll, as I'll soon try. as we can. So that's a pretty mighty counterattack, but at least it's a pretty mighty attack coming from you as well. Since you get to I get to, to put this into two. Yeah. And then I get my free focus point and I generate another two from the battle rage so now you get to do 10 because this is a seven yeah ten. A nine is a ten is a ten could have been better but it's mm. four points of damage onto him i'm just going to take one marker yep one, two three four and his retaliation is a nine i take five from that True. And since I stopped on this thing, you could have actually re-rolled your three and hoping that it'll get better rather than worse, by the way. All right, let's say I did that. Eh, one less. One less. In that case, you didn't need to spend focus on re-rolling the three into a two, by the way. Yeah, then I would have taken the other three, but I did it probably. Yeah, yeah whatever. I messed up. Yeah, let's just say not... you messed up. Um, right. Goblin so. at the entrance because I'm standing on the point that causes goblins to appear at the entrance. Yep. It's a pokey goblin. It's a pokey goblin at the entrance. Mm -hmm. At least the guy didn't move the torch. It would have yeah, been worse. That, that would actually have been worse. Now it's up to win, Kalos. Up to win. How far do you bait the boss if you bait the boss? His own movement speed. Which is one. Could you bait the guy outside so he hits the paladin instead of the orc? 
I mean, you just need to spend two focus. Sure. I don't need my focus for much else. So I can move him out into the dungeon. Boss has entered the dungeon. Hooray! Right. Could even bait him one further. He needs to go to the pit trap, but he would just take a step back. Because he's yeah. going to act and... He would. You're right. Okay. So... Instead of doing that, I just move into the Witch's Cauldron. Actually, you could move him because he doesn't yeah. attack, he just spawns goblins and heals. Right, so he doesn't actually move on his own, ever. No. Yes. Cool. But It's, it's a free action, I can still do you that can still after do the that. attack. Yeah. So I can just go here. No, you, oh yes, you I'm can. Stealth. You have you have the cloak of the panther. I am I am stealth. I can do, and then I'm going to hookshot him. The goblin that is not the yep. goblin king. Pokey goblin. That is a plus two. That's plus two. So the five is enough. So the five is enough. That means I get to regain two points of focus, and kill the pokey goblin. Pokey Goblin will grant you an item and you can reveal a room if you want to, but Do I, I don't even think, want to? I don't think so. Okay, I'm just not going to then. But I am going to take a new item. We removed the shop by the way, it is technically still here, but we didn't have the room. It's a spell tome of the Phoenix. Cool! Let's leave that for the other elf. Yeah. Let's just Put it over here so yeah. it still exists. Kind of still here-ish. Yeah. Um, that's my turn. I moved, I attacked, I looted, I... I'm useful. Torch. Boss. The boss spawns a goblin. Heals, heals himself for two. The attack wasn't useless. Yeah. If we manage to put more damage on him before he heals again. But yeah. Um, not useless. And he spawns a shooty goblin at the entrance. So the goblin actually goes to the entrance. And then it's Sir Lennon's turn. Go, Sir Lennon. You are on the tile with the boss. You know what? No. I'm going to use two focus to use my warhorn of the bear. Yep. Within four rooms of myself, I can move enemies by two. Nice. This is within four rooms, so I'm just going to pull him and move the boss over here, giving us the altar marker and unlocking his health. Nice. Then I'm just going to use my Warhorn of the Bear once more. Bait him back. Bait both of them back, actually. Okay. Because now I can just kill the goblin. Killing goblins is a good thing to do. Since I want the boss to be back in his lair. Yeah, sure, go. Um, that's plus two on the great axe. That's just the six is enough to kill the shooty goblin. Right, so I get it. five focus back. Um, that's just from the dice. I'm not going to use these five focus. I use these two. Pick up a new item. Oh, oh, let's just let me see here. I don't want any of these. I'm just going to hope for more bear stuff. Or oh, there's the cursed dragon scale. Hmm. May actually be worth less defense, but more Everything damage. Everything else. <laughs> yeah, probably worth it. We'll see. We'll see. So time passes. Time passes. He spawns a goblin. Yeah. Or rather, this one a goblin gets gone. spawned. Goblin spawns on its own. Stabby goblin moves into the dungeon. It is in the way of the sorceress. Meh. Nothing's in the way of one who can teleport for mana she doesn't have. Quite. These are the ones that give you HP, not focus. Damn it. 
Right. Um, you could kill it though and use it I to will. pick up the spell tome of the phoenix. I am going to do exactly that. It's not what I had in mind, but yes, well, that's somebody is very needs to clear out the entrance frequently, anyways. Very smart, yes. And she is very good at clearing out the entrance because she does secure damage for focus. Well, she gets plus one focus out of her Phoenix set. And plus one from the die. And then she gets to spend two in order to fry the goblin. And as a reward, pick up the spell tome of the Phoenix, which just flat gives her plus one intellect on every check she makes. You need to hold that in her hand, though. That's fine, I don't need to research. And yeah, that makes your cloud a lot more feasible. Yep, yep, it does. Good, that's that done. That's that settled. The he spawns a new goblin. And heals himself back up. Damn it! Curse you, goblin king! <laughs> he spawns Boomy. Oh well, we tried. Over to Grog Ul. Over to Grog Ul. Who's still in the lair. I think he, I'll just move him deeper into the lair and rest. Okay. Two, three, four. He just takes the best spot. Right. Heals himself up, focuses himself. It's not Good. great, but it it's might fun. help in the long run. Yeah. Oh, and baiting the boss is a free action. Just need to spend the two focus after right. I rested. Mm -hmm. So let's put him back in the lair where he belongs time passes without doing much yep so win i would actually like for win to stay outside and clear goblins all right so he's going to do that once again with a hookshot I mean, technically, he is a ranged hero who could deal with the boss better than the melee heroes, but uh, I'm not sure. We'll see. That... That five is more than enough. Five is enough, so... Enough on its own. The whole mana situation gets wasted again. I want another... Item. Item, please. Started jerking of the bear. Uh, okay, leave it for the bear people. Even more defense, that would be useful. And more attack. Yeah. Paladin just needs to find another goblin somewhere in this dungeon. Who knows? Maybe this one is going to... Oh, spawn again, you say? Yeah, but that... He can't reach it. <laughs> he only has two movement. Oh. Well, maybe the goblin will reach him. It's a boomy. Could just spend some focus to bait him. I think I'll just move him over here out of the way. Okay. That will give him one focus at the end of the turn and just begin to wail at the thing. Yep. And get plus one out of the set and another plus two from the great axe. So the same plus three and the orc gets. Another plus one out of my cursed dragon scale. Yep. Also, I have my Divine Might, which I haven't used yet. Hmm, no, no. True. Uh, I just need to use that first. So that's one, two. And now I make a melee attack if with you plus succeed, two. If you, you succeed, succeed in on the Intelligence 4 check. Which I do. Mm -hmm. It's very unlikely that you don't, but it's yeah. possible. Technically, I would have yes. get the recharge and now have to spend. Yeah. Now, I'm going to do a big attack here. Go! Hopefully. That's, That's not too bad looking. Not too bad. Not great either. Oh well, it's a six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's five damage on him. True. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, we really have to work against his heal. We do. 
and he retaliates for three seven. Mm -hmm. I've got a defense of five four. four, so I get three damage. Yes, which isn't that bad. No, it's really really not. Right, um, goblin spawns. Goblin spawns. Torch. It's a shooty. Shooty goblin, you say? Yes. I'm going to seeking bolt the shooty goblin then. Ah, yes, I see. I do. This time I actually want the resources, not the greed. And I get it. I heal for two, which is worthless. So I will just go completely broke. And oh wait, I rope of the phoenix. You get regain two focus, two focus from the ropes, and then I will just fry the shooty, which gives you five focus, which gives me five points of focus. All right, orc, orc, orc is happy where he's standing, and will attack with all his might, which heals him back up to full health. He gets one focus out of the sun hammer. There That's we go. Maximum damage ability on all sides. It's a 10. I spent all of my focus to battle rage. So we have a 12. 13. I'm not re rolling anything there. No. 12. 13. 13. 13. He. Blocks six of that, but you that's... regain one focus from the Sunhammer. Uh, I already put that in. Okay. I needed that so I could battle rage. Okay. Um, so, seven damage onto him. That's a whole one, lot two, of... Three, oh. four, five, six, seven. I'm saying he felt that. Probably more than you did. Speaking of more than you did... Oh, yeah. That's... 10 damage towards me. Yeah, you have. I block block. 4 of that. Yeah. So I still get 6. 1, 2, 3, oh. 4. Why is that 10 points of damage? 5 plus. Oh, that's that's 9 points of damage. Yes. Right. And so you block I still... 4 and you take 5, so you go down to 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. Orc done. Torch moves. Oh, that's uh, right. Boomy activates. Yeah, okay. So Elf dies, Elf takes Bomb to the face. And that's that. That's that. Um, boss heals himself by two. Cool. And spawns another goblin. Spawns another goblin. It's his daddy. Wind's turn. Mm -hmm. Wind stands back up. And moves out of Bomb range, I believe. You could go to the pulley room, but you can't use it. No. All right. Now it's risky. I could attack with Sir Lennon, but if that boss gets a torch, then we're toast. Because that would spawn two goblins. Oh, we can do two goblins, actually. We just can't do five. Yeah. Right. In that so, case, go for broke. I'm going for broke. Great Axe, Cursed Dragon Scale, Warhorn. So, that's a four. I couldn't use my Divine Might because I couldn't. Uh, but I, uh, I get a focus at the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Do at I the want end of your move? At the end of my move, you're right. So I actually can spend for focus to get two twos here. Did you use your uh, divine strike thingy? No, I didn't. Okay. I forgot. That's eight. Plus Nine, two is ten. ten. Plus one is eleven. Right, eleven. Good. So, five damage onto him. One, two, three, four, five. Three. First one. Down. Reach zero. Yeah. Um, he could heal that back up, but, but yeah. we have another one to move. 
And he... He hits me for 4 damage. Could be worse, I guess. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Probably is going to be worse in a moment. Another goblin on the entrance. Another goblin on the entrance. I don't think I can kill him with just my two guys. No, probably not. I'll send help. You know that cloud of death that never worked so far? Let's just try it again. If we die here because the cloud of death never works, I'm okay with that. Yeah, then it's it's just fate in that case. There we go. Actually worked this time. Yeah. So I get focus back because I cast a spell. Yeah. I get to spend four focus to cast the cloud of death and poison every single goblin. So that's three goblins. Three gone. goblins gone. Let's go through them by the numbers. The boomy goblin. Either yeah. a spell or a trinket. I'm actually going to go for a spell here. See if I can find anything else useful. Eh, not really. That was luck. It's okay. Then stabby goblin. Item or health? Item. Your item is the crossbow. The crossbow. Huh. Funny item laying on the floor there. And the second item? Um, because oh. you also take one from the other stabby. Yep. Throwing axes of the bear. That, those are very useful for someone collecting a bear set. Problem is, I can't see him easily get, get out of there and get collect stuff. No, probably not. All right. Um, anyways. Yeah, I bought us some time. That's some breathing room. Well, time is literally running out here, but... Another goblin spawns. Yeah. And it's the boomy. Mm -hmm. Also the boss heals too again. Yeah. This is why goblins activate before other minions in the dungeon, I guess. Probably. Because uh, the troll earlier would also have been able to spawn goblins. Yeah. Grog is already pretty damaged, but I think I'm just going to go for it. The sunset heals, uh, the lion set, I mean, heals mm -hmm. two again. Yep. Don't have much focus now, but that's all right. Sun hammer gives me one. Yeah. Well, that's a seven, at least. It's a seven plus one is an eight. Plus the two from your standing point. I think I Ten. might just actually forgo the one to later on get okay. a battle rage in. So that's a six, seven... Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. That's three damage. Mm -hmm. Something. So at least hit one heal gone. And I got some focus back. And I get four damage. <laughs> Oof. Well, I'm not down. You're not dead. That's very right. Also, he didn't move the torch, which is also nice. Yeah, and that's very useful. Go and win Kalos. Win. I think I'm going to move him inside the dungeon and attack with a hookshot. How far can you go? Four tiles. So that would spawn us a goblin. That would spawn as a goblin. I don't think I want that. In any case, you could go here and maybe disarm the trap for picking up a crossbow or something like that. Was that thing worth it? Crossbow has a range of three, but otherwise it's pretty much the hookshot. Well, it does regenerate focus, which I never use for anything. But there's no panther stuff there. Mm. I could really use the Delver's luck with him, but not really. No, he can't. <laughs> he actually can't cast that. Why oh not? no, it's any any it, skill. It's not an intellectual spell. 
still uh, move him closer is in any case a good idea. Yeah, I now have to survive that trap. Yeah. And I'm going to, of course, use my dexterity. There's the six I need, right? Yeah, and I one. get to heal for one. Yeah. Do you want to disarm the trap and come in next turn? I think I do. What's that? Um, uh, dexterity five? Yeah. That's the five I want. And another heal. And another heal. I want another item, yes. Please. Maybe something panther related. Panther bow. Like the longbow of the panther. Danke. Bitte. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um. <laughs> that threw me out. Uh, whatever. It's a... Uh... Wait. It's not... Oh, it is better. No, it's not. It's just just as good. Yeah, it eh. gets the plus one out of the set. It gets the plus one out of the set instead of the item, which is meh, whatever. It also has incredible range, which I can't use versus the boss. But maybe versus and the goblins if need be. It has an AoE shot, which also... All right. Boss will give us new goblins. Yep. Pokey. Oh, and the boomy activates. Oh yeah, the boomy does two damage on the elf. Pokey appears and the boss heals for two. I know you can't deal with a, uh, with a boss on your own, but I also don't see how I can help with the frequency of those things spawning. Anyhow. Could use kin. When, I mean, this is going to be over pretty soon anyways. Yeah. I am going to send the elf to you, but I think he's kind of one use only. My people are one use only now as well. I know. Um, right, that was that. Sir Lennon. Sir Lennon. I think I have to risk it. Yeah. Nothing for it. Nope. I end my movement, I get... Focus. focus. There's a five. That's a six. And six, seven, eight, seven, nine, eight, nine. Which is at least three damage on him. Something. And he hits me back for seven, which I can't. You cannot tank in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, that's looking a little grim. It is. Torch moves. Torch moves. New goblins. Goblin singular. Goblin singular. Reshuffling. Another stabby. Cloud of death. Cloud of death. That's looking nice. You only need the five to succeed in it. I only need the five, so I recharge by four. I use four to cast the cloud and fry all three of those. Yeah. I'm going to go spell item health. That's a good choice. So that's the health from the savvy. The spell is... Chain lightning instead of the pelvis lock. Maybe. Could use it instead of the cloud of death. Because it does effectively the same. Alright. It's a goblin cleaning spell and it's cheaper than the cloud. However, the cloud... You might want to make a dash for the boss room at some point and you can't use the pelvis lock for anything because you don't have an attack. Yep. And the item is the longsword of the line. Okay, that's nice. That would be nice if we could actually pick it up. Yeah, but not that nice. I mean, the sun hammer does the same. Well, it would have been more heal. It is a bit more heal, yeah. 
But all right. That's all right. You people gone? Yep. All the goblins. And the first goblin immediately gets set out again. Because of course it does. Another stabby. And he heals again, of course. Yeah. Lennon. Oh, Grogul. Oh, Grogul, yeah. Who's probably going to go down as well now, but... We'll see. We'll see. Probably. But we'll we see. need to put damage onto that guy. Yep. So, that's a six. And I can put my Battle Rage into it. I get one from the Sun Hammer. Yep. Oh. You could also just yeah, use... Yeah, I could not use the Battle Rage, but... The... That instead. And get one from the Sun Hammer then. And yep. so I still have two left for yep. whatever I want to do with that. And, and get one focus from that, but I only get that after the attack, so I can't use it to battle rage. Yeah, and you get plus two HP, but that doesn't matter because... Because I get four damage. Yeah, but Unless let's Unless... Eight? Oh, no, it, it won't. Eight. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten eleven. So it's that's another five. five points of damage. One, two... Three, four, five. Okay, so he's down to 12. Yeah. This is cutting it very close. It is. Nothing happens. That's nice. Win. Apart from Grogul collapsing. <laughs> yeah, that's not so nice, but oh well. Win is going to make a dash for the dungeon. One, One two, two. Three, three, four, four five. five. Yep. I only have four movement. You only have four movement. So I end on the energy space, which I can't use. So I'm going to attack him for the uh, with the longbow. Yeah. Longbow or claws doesn't make a difference. Yes, it does. Oh yeah, longbow is plus two. Yeah. Also, he doesn't hit it back as hard in range. Oh yeah, that's right. So that's an eight, eight. ten, ten. ten. That's Get ten. Another four damage. Yep, that's that hard. Gone. Well, he'll just heal it back, but meh. some of it. So and he got you it. You get one HP, two, and yeah, one point of damage. Win. Did you take the one from the six? No, no. I didn't. So, he's right back up. Sadly, that was the last time Wynn is doing anything. Yep. So, Lennon's standing back up. And can't do anything. And Goblin activates Stabby. Right. Moves. He moves and doesn't do anything. Goblin spawn? Yeah. Let's do this quickly. I didn't think we're going to last, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. He spawns. He stood back up. Yeah. Um, it's another spawn, I think. Um, yeah. Another spawn, and both of those activate. I take two, three points of damage on her. I think we actually can't squeeze out a win here an anymore. We only no? have her turn and one more turn. What I could maybe see is... Uh, no, that doesn't work. You thought about the graveyard? Yeah. I did too, but no, it, it doesn't work. It would spawn us too many goblins. Yeah. You know, let's just give as good as we get. Right. Teleport so, her in and put in a last attack on him because Grog Ul can't do anything. Spend two. Jump here. Movement. Moves her into the fray. 
One, two, what's her movement? Four, three, four. So she gets a plus one on her attack, whatever that may be. She's going to cast one final Cloud of Death. Yeah. Because that never disappointed me. He gets the torch. Good. Which immediately spawns us another goblin. I get the cloud with a five, so I can get two more from the set of the phoenix. Cast the cloud, go back to zero, and the other dies, heal me back up to four, and I deal him three, uh, damage. three points of damage. And I'm afraid that's it. That's it. Well, we tried. We tried. But we'll get a win one of these days. It is a pretty hard game and I don't think we've fully figured it out yet. No. But at some point we will. Yes. I really think if I could have gotten the Delvos luck on win earlier. Maybe one thing we did wrong was completely ignore spells this much. Yes. Maybe I should have gotten someone Sir Lennon. Yes. Maybe. Oh well. I think we're just lacking experience here. Yeah. Well, we'll come back for another round eventually. Yeah. And we'll give some thoughts on this game in a moment. All right. We want to do a little post game. This is very post the game you just saw. We only got around to recording this after editing everything, which took a fair few weeks. But now we've got a better grasp on the game since we've played a few more with varying hero groups and also we've seen a few more of the bosses. And we actually won a game this time. Right, and we did win a game mostly because we actually used spells that time. Like we used the Dungeon Scry, which allowed us to peer at other rooms, the Giant Strength, which just buffs melee attacks on a warrior instead of just utilizing our one attack spell and the cloud of death and leaving it at that. So spells on not spellcaster heroes actually are very valuable as we've learned. The thing is we didn't really pick up a lot of spells because of the way we handled items. Yeah, one thing we did a little wrong was we used goblins and traps to pick up items Whereas you want to use those to bring new items into the dungeon, because there's limited opportunity for that. If you use those limited opportunities though, you can go through the whole deck. We managed to do that once. But you need to kit yourself out well. Use the dungeon rooms for that, which allow you to pick up items that are on the ground. And then you can actually get these sets completed or kit out in a different way. A little sad note we found is that in this game there are Two sets which help with a strength hero, but only one for an intellect hero and one for an agility hero. I think they might have handled that a bit better. Yeah, they could have done that a little better and I think they could have done the whole boss fights a little bit better too. This is the Gorgon, we defeated her actually once. But uh, when we fought the Goblin King, he just heals and spawns goblins when it's his turn. And as you can see, it's his turn every other turn. Pretty much throughout the whole of stage 2. And aside from the Goblin King, every other boss in the game chases heroes down throughout the dungeon and murks them. So since it's his turn pretty much every other turn and they all hit like a truck, Half of the heroes spent their entire turns standing back up again and then doing nothing else, just waiting to get knocked down once more and hoping that for one stretch maybe they get to act once and not die in retaliation so they can actually act, but that's rare. So yeah, I'm, I'm not such a fan of stage 2, especially with the home stretch here with the boss acting every turn that's just a delayed game over at that point, because you can't catch up to that. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Of course the game isn't 
all bad because of it. Yeah, Act 2 is a bit dragging, but that's only really noticeable because Act 1 is doing so great. As long as there's Act 1, you still have to place dungeon rooms, which always widen your decision space because all of these are also an action you can take and you get to decide how to place them, where to expand the dungeon and with the dungeon deck being constructed the way it is, you even can try to do a bit of a tactic because you know when there might be a minion lurking and when finally the lair door is going to show up. You have to carefully think about when you spawn the next minion because you need them to push back the timer a bit, but you don't want too many of those because they are tough to take down. Also, these dice are just a beautiful idea with the way they give you resources and can add onto each other. I've never seen that before and I like it quite a bit. Only other thing is it's lacking a bit in variety. After two games you've seen all of the dungeon tiles because they pretty much all show up every game and you know most of the items and spells. So variety is starting to lack a bit, also with the heroes not being that different. But yeah, speaking of that, there's an expansion. Our dice tray was actually the cover of that. As you can see, we've never played with it since all the miniatures are still grey and red would absolutely die of a heart attack if we try to play with unpainted miniatures. But the expansion comes with a number of nice features. Among others, you get two new sets. One for spellcaster heroes and one for agility heroes. Which should pretty much bring a lot of variety since then it would be really difficult to get through the whole stack. But you can mix and match and that may end up really nice. We've yet to try it, but we're actually looking forward to it. Apart from that, the expansion also brings in stories, which are objectives which have been fulfilled on top of the whole minion and boss killing thing, which might also add to gameplay variety quite a bit. All being said and done, although this is a bit fiddly in the rules and has a few rough edges here and there, it's just such a neat package and it'll go right into my travel bag. So until then. <laughs>